Hi, and welcome to Graph 101 from Intune.Training with Johannes, Jake, and me, the special extended guest, Sean. <laughs> well, uh, hey, Sean, always good to have you. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you say that now. Give me a few more weeks. Um, <laughs> yeah, so welcome, everybody. Today, we're going to keep diving into Microsoft Graph. We're going to be exploring Graph Explorer today and probably over the next couple of videos as well. Yeah, like we had said earlier, these are going to be shorter videos, so they're going to be very like direct to the point. Um, let's get my screen shared out here. There we go. Now, we'll include the links down in the description below, um, but we're going to simply head out to developer.microsoft.com, and we're going to go over to the Graph Explorer. Did you know there's a short code for that? What is it? AKA.ms slash GE. GE. Look at that. Look at oh, that. Neat. Load and I did not know that. Okay, that that's the one bit of knowledge I had for today. That's, that's our video right there, everyone. <laughs> We're good. Awesome. Um, so, so Jake, what is this stuff? What was that? What is this stuff? Yeah. Uh, it's the as it as it says the Graph Explorer. It's where you can actually come okay. in and see some example queries that Microsoft has created. Maybe you don't necessarily want to engage Graph with PowerShell or anything else like that to start. Um, but this is a great way to kind of get your feet wet as to how everything works in the background or how so a certain query might work. What you're saying is by Graph Explorer, we're not like saying this is the upper left quadrant and the lower right quadrant, but no, definitely oh, not. Okay. No, we're not, we're still not finding the quadratic equation or anything like that for it. Still not a math lesson. <sighs> exactly. Exactly. Someday maybe. <laughs> Uh, but you'll notice that we're actually signed in um, in this sample tenant. We're not actually signed in yet currently. So you can actually just come out here and start running, you know, different queries, query examples, different things like that. Um, you'll see by default, we're going to do a get method. Um, and we're using V1, the version one. There is a beta as well. Um, and we're just grabbing me. So if I just simply come in here and hit run query, we're going to get, you know, some information back. You know, here's our OK, 200, which means it was a successful pull. And here's all the, you know, extra data about who me is in that sample tenant. Um, so we can see we're like Megan Bauer or an auditor, different things like that. Um, you can see so, we've got things. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, if we can just kind of harken back to our last video for a second, you know, we were really talking about those different parts of the, the request. And so we were talking about the method. So here we see those common methods listed out. Um, obviously we've got the URI or endpoint and that's just the address there. Um, and so at a very basic level, that is what we expect to see. We also had mentioned a few other things like we've got the headers and the request body, which it's kind of building for us. And then the access token as well, uh, which is part of that request header. So I just kind of want to call that out as, hey, this is, the exact same stuff we were talking about last week, just in kind of a more visual format. Absolutely. And obviously, again, we'll break all these out in a later video. This is just to give you a real rough example of what you can actually pull down through graph without having to do a whole bunch of coding yourself. Um, you know, we'll try some of these other examples here. Like maybe I want to go ahead. Uh, we already got the my profile. Maybe we'll try doing my photo you'll see that the endpoint that we're hitting changed. It was just V1 slash me. Jake, you've now, really let yourself go. I know I have. I look completely different. <laughs> That's my driver's license photo from 10 years ago, OK? <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> but you'll notice that our endpoint did change. We were on V1 me, and now we're on photo, and then the value of that. I think, um, it's, in, I think it's kind of important to point out that you can pull the data like a photo out of graph. It doesn't have to be just JSON text gibberish. It can be photos, can be all kinds of things. Yeah. And you'll see on the left here, as far as like the sample queries that you have to run, there are a lot of options that you can do. Like we could pop into users and there's some different things in here. Like maybe I want to pull some information about me again. Again, hitting that exact same endpoint that we talked about earlier. With that, though, let's actually sign into our own tenant because, you know, we want to see our own information. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. Now, 
That's a very clicky keyboard, Jake. That's my oh, password, my. too. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Are you sure it's your password? It was. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> I think we got it that second time around. I think so. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the tenant changed. Yeah. So now if we run this get me query, we should get some different information. There we go. Jake Shackleford, my email, all that fun stuff. Now you'll notice, you know, we got some, you know, useful information here. But earlier we were talking about the different, you know, we got V1 and beta. If I switch this over to beta and I run the query, we should get some more information. You'll see there's a lot more. Quite a bit more. Yeah. Now, that information is still available and accessible via V1. It just does not show up immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Of... So that's something that we'll talk about a little bit on kind of a future call is how to, how to do different queries. So like a filter query or a select query to show those different items or only, I mean, just like anything else, you don't want to consume anything else or any more or send a lot of extra network traffic. So you can shorten the amount of information you get back by just selecting the pieces you want. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think as far as like a quick dive into Graph Explorer, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, I think in the next you one, we're going to look at, you know, creating some stuff. But what was that, Johannes? Oh, we're going to, like you said, we're going to keep it short. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you for watching. Obviously, questions, comments, concerns down below. Again, hoping to release every, you know, bi weekly for you guys. And with that, have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Thanks a lot, everyone.